In this video, I'll show you how to transfer your digital pictures from your Instax Mini Leapplay into your phone or your computer. The Instax Mini Leapplay is essentially a digital camera fused with an Instax printer so you can make prints like these. Everything I say in this video about the Instax Mini Leapplay, it's most likely to work also with the Instax Mini Evo. I'm Matei and on this channel we learn how to use Instax cameras. So recently they added new functionality to the Instax Mini Leapplay and now it allows you to transfer images that you already printed with the Instax Mini Leapplay. So in order for this to work, you have to have the latest app installed on your phone and you also have to update the firmware on your Instax Mini Leapplay. So I don't have the new firmware updated yet, but I'll do that and then I'll show you what it looks like. So when you don't have the latest firmware updated on your camera and you go to transfer the images, it doesn't show you any images here. So once I update the firmware, it will show me the images that I printed and I'll be able to save those to my smartphone. Also another good reason to update the app regularly is because they add uh, new frames to the app uh, uh, periodically. So I just updated the app and I can see there are a bunch of Christmas frames that weren't there before. But even with the updated app and the firmware on the camera, it will only allow you to transfer images that you already printed. So in this video, I'll show you how to transfer all the images, not only the ones you printed. Because if you print all the images, you're gonna burn a lot of film and that can get pretty expensive. Another really good reason to transfer the images from your Instax Mini Leapplay is that the Leapplay has a really small internal memory. It can only hold about 45 images and now it's telling me that the internal memory is full. In order to transfer the images from the Instax Mini Leapplay, you'll have to buy a micro SD card. It is unfortunate you have to buy something else to get the full functionality of the Instax Mini Leapplay camera, but the good news is that you don't have to buy a big micro SD card. The smallest micro SD card that you can find will be just fine. The digital images that the Instax Mini Leapplay takes are really small. They're only 5 megapixels and the average size is about 1.3 megabytes. So even if you get one gigabyte micro SD card, you'll be able to store about 800 images. And that's way more than you ever, ever want on your Instax Mini Leapplay because once you get over 100 pictures, it'll be really hard to navigate them and scroll through them. One thing I would recommend though is when you're buying the micro SD card, buy one that also comes with the adapter to the regular SD size. So you can take your micro SD card, slide it in there, then you can use it in the standard SD card reader that's included in a lot of computers. Once we have the micro SD card, we can start transferring some images. First, we have to insert the SD card into the camera. So the SD card slot is down here. You can use your fingernail to open it up and you can slide the rubber flap away. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult, so don't, don't get discouraged. So we can hold it down like this and then we put the SD card in here. So the contacts of the card should be facing away from you. Once you see the writing on top of the SD card, you can insert it gently. And then once it's like this, you have to push it in with your fingernail all the way in. Now it's fully inserted and it should work just fine. So to transfer the images, we turn on the camera. Then you have to go to the play menu. So what's super weird is once you put the micro SD card in the Instax Mini Leapplay, it won't show you the pictures that you had on the internal memory. But don't panic, they're still there. Once we have the micro SD card inside the Leapplay, we go to the review menu. Then we push the menu button right here and we scroll to the option that says copy, hit OK. Then we go internal memory to card and we say all frames. So now that we copied all the pictures to the micro SD card, we have to remove the SD card from the camera. This is a little bit of a tricky step. So we open up the flap again and then we push on the SD card like this with your fingernail. And so that's the easy part, but now getting it out of here, I always have a little bit of a hard time. I have pretty big fingers, so it's a little bit hard to kind of grab it out of there. I usually have to kind of use it like this. So now it actually came out pretty easily, but a lot of times I have a hard time. So try to be really gentle with this step to make sure you don't uh, break the SD card when you're taking it out. You put it in the adapter to convert it into a normal SD card like this, and then you insert this into a SD card reader. I actually just noticed that this uh, card reader even has a micro SD card slot, so I don't need the adapter. But I still prefer to do it this way. And now I can go to the computer and download the images. So once you have the pictures on the micro SD card and you can connect to the computer, it acts just like any other of, uh, USB flash drive. On the SD card, we'll have a folder that says DCIM. We click on that. In there, there will be another folder that says 100 underscore Fuji. And here are all our pictures. So for every picture, there's also this CSV file. So let's look at the last picture I took. So here's a picture of me right there, which I also printed out later. And uh, here the CSV file uh, has information about the picture. So it uh, shows me the firmware version of the camera when I took it, uh, the date. So generally we don't have to keep these files. I just keep the JPEGs. 
So one thing to know is if you took any voice recordings with this uh, special voice recording function on the Instax Mini Elite Play, those voice recordings are also saved on the microSD card or the internal memory. So if you transfer everything from the internal memory to the microSD card, you can download the voice recordings as well. One really important thing to point out is that all the pictures that are on the microSD card, they're stored without any of the effects or the borders. So you just get the plain pictures. You, unfortunately, you don't get it with the effects that you applied when you were printing the pictures on the Instax uh, film. So after you downloaded and backed up all your uh, images from the internal memory of the Instax Mini Elite Play, and any images that you take from now on will be stored directly on the microSD card. If you found this video useful, please give it a like so other people can find it more easily in the YouTube search.